Hi everybody, welcome back to Jilly's Nails. We are on day 10 of the 31 days of Halloween. What do you think of my new little banner? I think it's precious. I love it for Halloween and I'll change it back, uh, but I like it. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna jump into today is show you what um, the Maniology Mani Buy Me box is. That X is not X me, it's buy me. It's a pet peeve of mine. So it is the Manny buy me box. <laughs> when you open it up, you get these little cute cards in here every month. Um, those cards just kind of, they're just cute. And then they give you on the back uh, kind of the overall theme of the box and what's going on. Pip, stop that. <laughs> My dog is over here snorting and wa he's wallering is what we call it here in the South. These boxes come with two polishes. These are stamping polishes, but of course you can also use them for a normal polish, which you'll see me do in the next video. Not a color I would typically relate to Halloween, but it's called Love Potion, so okay. Um, Maniology, in my opinion, is getting a little out of hand with some pink polish, and they need to do some other colors. <laughs> but I still do like these kits. The other kit is called... Black Magic, I believe, and it is a black linear holographic polish. It's really pretty. Uh, it also comes with two stamping plates in each kit. This month was the Halloween month. It was for September. Now, if you don't have these plates, but you love these plates, if you subscribe for one month, you can also go back in and order previous boxes if they have them available. So we're going to use those, both of those plates today. And we're also going to use this nail tool that came in the box. Every month you get something different as a tool or an extra item in the box. Sometimes it's cuticle oil. Sometimes it's different salves. Sometimes it's the the artist brush there or a cleanup brush. It's just something different that you get every month. The box is normally $25, but if you subscribe and use my Maniology affiliate code, you will get 10% off. It's Jilly, J-I-L-L-I-E, 10, and you'll get 10% off. The cool part about that code too, and I have checked with Maniology to verify this, is it will work on some sale items, not all, but some. Now, on that little brush, I just showed you, and I'm sorry I was yapping over it, but I showed you, you need to store that pointing down. I learned that from Susie of Nail Career Education. So when you put the cap on, point the tip of the brush down. That keeps acetone from getting into the handle and making it fall apart. We're going to use that Cirque Holographic polish. It's a black holographic. I'm also going to use a, just an orange from Maniology. I can't remember if that's the one I actually used or if that's the one I got mad at because it was the one that bled in my armpit everywhere. <laughs> We're also going to use some black acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. You can get this from Walmart from 90, 97 cents, something like that. And I'm just going to barely touch in. I've already done my thumb, but I could not do it and paint and show you. What I'm doing is kind of carving out, ha ha, carving uh, pumpkin shapes. And that did not come out the shape I wanted, and I tried to wipe it off, and you see what happened, but it doesn't matter in the final product. So to carve out the top of a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern shape, you kind of do it like a heart in the center, but make it a loose one. Like, not a sharp point like you would at the top of the heart, but a real loose shape, and then just kind of trail it out, almost like an M. The letter M is in Mary, like a flattened M. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to make sure I'm leaving myself enough room to stamp the jack-o'-lantern faces, but I wanted to put kind of a starry night sky in the background. So I'm using that Cirque uh, holographic polish. It's a scattered holographic, so it looks a lot like stars. And I'm using that in the background just to give a little bit more depth and dimension to the overall manicure. It's a really, really pretty color, but I will tell you, I put matte polish on at the end of this because I was like, oh, these, these I think would look cuter matte. And this polish does not look good matte. There are a lot of glitter polishes that are very pretty if you put a matte on top of them. They're still really pretty. This one's not one of them. It went dull and just bleh. So if you do a design like this, I would leave the top shiny <laughs> and then matte out the pumpkins. So I'm going in with that orange polish here. It is a bit sheer on me, but... In every polish's defense, I always say I have super white tips on my natural nails. So it's like a polish has to be really, really super opaque to cover that up completely, especially on the first coat. Um, I don't think I know of a single polish. Maybe a black <laughs> has done it. But um, 
I do have really, really natural white tips. So a lot of times they do show through. It doesn't bother me. I know it does bother some people. So if it's something that really bothers you, you might need a third coat of this color to make it fully opaque or paint a white on first and then paint the orange over it. So I'm just going through and adding the second coat to kind of help. Um, I did think it was a little sheer on the first coat and I uh, wanted to make sure that the black that I had that bled over was also mostly covered. It still peeked through a little bit but I kind of liked it. It looked like shadows on some of the jack-o'-lanterns so I thought it was cute and I left it. I'm just going through now and putting a top coat on to seal everything. It's a quick dry Sally Hansen top coat. I want to do that because I want to be able to stamp relatively quickly. Not that it helped any because I smudged two nails while I was doing this and had to go back and, and fix them, but whatever. So I'm going through now and just picking up my first little jack-o'-lantern face, and I'm going to put that on my thumb. Um, I think I cut that out of camera because I smudged my middle finger there. And if you see, I'm just doing the lick it and pat trick. <laughs> I do have to do it in a couple different directions to uh, get it to go back mostly into place, and I put another coat of polish on top just to make sure you couldn't see what little bit of smudging was left behind. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and stamp other nails. You'll see that I'm going to pick up two images at once on this, and I tried, tried being the operative word, to save them both so I could use them both. But if you look right here, you'll see my stamper was about to fall out, and I didn't notice that. So it made my depth for how I was stamping incorrect, and I got some on my hand and ruined one of them. So I just have to go back in and kind of clean, and I smudged that one too. It was smudge day, smudgy smudge day in this house. <laughs> so I have to go back in. I'm going to definitely clean that off, but I'll pick up two again to show you that that can be done. If you have two images that are close to each other like that, um, and you, your nails are ready to go with both of them, you can pick them up sometimes both of them at the same time and you just very carefully lay them down see what I'm doing there I picked up the first one and then the second one separately so I could put a bigger gap between the two and give myself plenty of room to stamp I thought that I was moving that into a better camera angle clearly I didn't sorry about that I'm really going to have to figure that out and get a little better at angles for stamping because it's hard to line it up and make it straight and make it where the camera can see it. So I'm going to work on figuring that out. I'm sorry. <laughs> In the meantime, that middle finger has been drying. So we'll go ahead and clean up, pick out an image for that, and go ahead and get that one applied. I really like the middle finger one. I think it's my favorite one on this whole plate. It comes out really cute every time. I've used it in the past and yeah, I like this plate. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of things you can do. If you don't want to get this detailed, you can just paint your nails orange and slap some faces on there. I've done it. I think they're on my Instagram somewhere. Um, but it just, they always come out really cute. They usually come out on the first try. Um, and there's so many things you could do with it. You could make a scarecrow out of that one. Uh, they have little kind of monster alien faces. And this is where I went in and decided to go ahead and put the top coat, the matte top coat on. And uh, you're, you're getting a sneak preview to the next Manny uh, because I decided to do it in the middle of filming the other one. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and matte them up. I think they're super cute. I also put a brown stem on them because jack-o'-lanterns don't have green stems. The stem is dead. Anyway... <laughs> pet peeve number two for the day. Thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. Bye.